Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. Today the crew is interviewing in Portland and my guest is Washington Representative Gail Tarleton. Gail, thank you so much for being here. Great to be here, thank you. Your district is filled with so much action. Where can we begin? <laughs> I like to begin where people love the most, and that's on the waterfront. We have a working waterfront in Washington State, just like Oregon Coast does. Uh, we have the fishing fleets and the cruise terminals, the grain terminals, uh, the container ships, beautiful public marinas, yes. and they're all in my district. <laughs> <laughs> and a tremendous amount of business. I'm not sure if people realize the volume of ag products that come in and out of these areas and many other products as well. That's right. The uh, grain products from eastern Washington as well as from Oregon, some in Montana, will come through the Port of Seattle and its headquarters are in my district. The grain terminal is in my district. It goes to all parts of Asia. Uh, my colleagues and I here from Oregon, we like to, and Montana and Canada, we like to talk about the fact that we feed the world with clean, safe food. Yes, and money for our Northwest economy. Well, you know, one of the best parts about these uh, discussions we're having this week are that we are always identifying what parts of our economies are working together, which ones are struggling, where do we need to help each other out, and tourism is one of the biggest parts of the economy for Oregon, Washington, Alaska, the Canadian provinces, the entire Pacific Northwest. We don't take enough credit for how beautiful is the place that we live in. Yes. And other people want to come here and see what we've got. And that's uh, one of the things that we can always continue to capitalize on. One of the benefits about tourism, too, is it's all also considered a green or environmentally friendly industry. That's which absolutely can be very right. lucrative. And it is really lucrative, what we have learned um, this week with new information that our teams have been putting together. Uh, more than 740,000 jobs in the Pacific Northwest are associated with tourism. And it is a it is because we are a place where people can come and fish, hike, be in the, in the outdoors, and they know that they're breathing clean air and they're drinking clean water. You touched on jobs. Um, so many places people are finding that the young generation coming up might not have the job set and the skill set, especially yes. specialized skills, like where you're talking about fishing fleets, the Port of Seattle, you've got to have strong trades, bright minds. Um, how is that working as far as finding the next generation of workforce coming through in your area? Great question. We've been working on it with Oregon for the last five years or so here. Uh, Oregon led the way and got career and technical education programs into the schools a year before we did. We just passed the biggest investment in career and technical education for kids to explore what the jobs can be in the trades. Maritime trades, aerospace trades, high tech industry, uh, electronics and gaming. And it all starts when they're in eighth and ninth grade and they're thinking, you know, I'm not going to sit at a desk for the rest of my life. Maybe I can have a chance to explore something I love. And, and we, we know in our state, in Washington State, that 700,000 jobs are going to be created in the next 10 years in the skills, in the trades that require a two or four year degree and a, apprenticeship or certification. But every single one of those jobs, kids need a high school diploma. Yes, you've got to get the high school diploma and then the training. The nice thing about all of these opportunities is I think once young people find out about that, students that might not enjoy the traditional school setting suddenly feel successful. You're in exactly In an environment right. where sometimes students don't feel successful and that can have a spiraling effect that's long term. You know my parents used to say to us we don't want you to love everything you try we just want you to try everything you can oh. because then you'll find Lies something you love to do and you'll do work that you love no matter where it is and I I believe that other people in this country also need to know and the kids who are growing up in our states here in the Northwest need to know we still make things, we still have jobs in the manufacturing sh sector, we build ships, we build airplanes, and we go out to sea to go fishing. Those are kinds of jobs that don't exist everywhere in the country, no, but they they're don't. all right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, just get ready to look. 
Well, thank you so much for coming and thank participating you, in the conference. And thank you for being our guest here. We really appreciate it. And we thank you for watching. I'm Dana Cowley. This is Charter Local Edition Northwest.